There's a reason the internet is considered as one of the greatest inventions in human history. The possibility of accessing a limitless quantity of information in an instant made people believe that we would colonize planets in two or three decades, but I'm pretty sure pouring feces and other weird liquids on people was not part of the plan. There's a degenerate in Belgium who goes by the name of Yanni who thought that pouring feces, ketchup, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna explain it to you. I'm gonna show you what that motherfucker does. If you hang out on the internet a little bit, if you know content creators, all this special breed, you know that they are a threat to public safety. But this, this man is something different because at this point, he's not even doing the devil's work. I don't know for who he's working, but not even the devil would ask you that. The monster with who he's walking gotta come from the Lovecraft universe because this is a 22 year old man. He's not a teenager, he's not 11, man. He can vote, that's an adult. I don't know if he thought that he was gonna start a trend, that he was gonna become popular online. Because to come up with that kind of idea, you need to be down bad, like horrendously down bad, desperately down bad. I'm not even sure I have the proper word to describe how down bad he is in my vocabulary, but this is a level I have never seen and I bet you too. I'm sure the last time he saw Coochie, the motherfuckers from Band Before Time will still run on the streets before being used as car food. The only thing he does with his friends is go to the local park, drink trashy alcohol, and smoke Reggie weed. Don't come up with the idea of, oh, maybe it's a double-edged sword, you know, high reward, high risk, but no, no, no. This sword is even sharper than Excalibur. And with that sword, the high reward part is harder to get than three jackpots in a row on a slot machine at the casino. But if you want to delete your social life, then go on, pick up that sword, it's your life, and we will be there to watch the Gen Z version of a tragic comedy. Imagine you're on the train, you're going to meet a friend, you're going on a date or job interview, minding your own business, not bothering anyone, just listening to some music. This motherfucker comes out of nowhere, pours feces, man, ketchup, oil, paint, who the fuck knows? You know you can catch some nasty disease. This is a biohazard, like this is a legit crime. But if I'm being truly honest, I'm not surprised, I've said it many times, the people that want to become online celebrities today will push the boundaries every single time they will try to find something that can make them go viral instantly and fast. This is just a avant goût like we say in France. Right now, you should start praying that you're not somewhere at the wrong time. The worst part might be the fact that this man had the time to change his mind. While he was mixing his unholy shit, he had more time than some people would get to live to change his mind. He even had time to go to a charity and donate money. You know, as a human being with basic cognitive function, I shouldn't probably do that. But clout, man. He saw a clout cake. He thought he was going to eat the whole cake. Thank God, he wasn't a halfway dumbass. This dude was a dumbass all the way up because he would at least wear a mask, not put his real name, if that's his real name. But thank God, like I said, he's a dumbass all the way up. Belgian YouTuber Yannick allegedly arrested for throwing buckets of liquids on people. According to many, the bucket Yannick throws on people on train contains beer, water, paint, food, and dog feces. The content creator even shows himself mixing up his repulsive brew before taking it onto a train and splash it down on someone. He calls it Surprise du Chef. For those who don't know, Surprise du Chef is basically your masterpiece, your best dish ever. You have a date tonight? That's why you pull out. Surprise du Chef. Want to impress some friends? Surprise du Chef. And the audacity this man has to call this BS Surprise du Chef after seeing this video, some of you might think that his action is solely due to a bad education. But if that's what you think, then you might be new to the internet. Because as of today, the internet has become a foster house for degenerates. A person with a strict education might commit that crime. A person with a more lenient one might commit that crime. It truly doesn't matter nowadays because clout is involved. The money is involved. It's not a parent's error anymore. School doesn't have the same weight today because what's the point of going 18 years to school, then four years to college, then two years for a master, not even sure to get a job, knowing that you might have an 
invested something like what 300k what's the point of learning the pythagorean theorem when you can just go outside fuck up with a few people for three seconds go viral and start your mini empire thanks to that i mean Come on man, that's quick math. You might see some people grill a stick on a PS4 to go viral or guys like him do that kind of crimes. I mean, it really depends, but people are so desperate nowadays to go viral fast that they'll do anything because if you can go viral, man if you're intelligent enough you can legitimately be set off for life i can't find the first surprise du chef but the second one was posted five months ago that means he might have been doing that for six months but i think it might be time to look at roll the drums Surprise du chef number six. Why? Because it's the video with the most views on his channel. And I guess it might be time to see the reactions. You better look behind you when you walk down the street. You're not safe. I'm looking for you. I'm not a snitch. But if I see a group of 10 guys, no, no, just one person come out with his image on his phone asking me if I saw that person. For that type of guy, I would snitch no problem for free in an instant, my guy. I would snitch on you. He got what he wanted. He will never be more famous than he is right now. The whole world knows him. Five seconds. That's all it took him to go viral. In a bad way, in a pathetic way, but he still went viral. And if he made some good money off of it and didn't blow everything in hookers and cocaine. If you won all the money, what would you do with it? Bunch of hookers and cocaine. Oh. You could say it was worth it for him, but if you consider that to be the right option, I just know you're the type of guy that we would see on pawn shop trying to pawn his mother for a few dollars. I'm not saying that you're a hoe, but don't get any lower in life than this guy if you're ready to go that deep into the abyss that means your life was fucking pathetic he may have had a worse life than doomer guy and i don't even know how that's possible but if he's ready to do this that's my only explanation you're not even human if you think this is fun hey out 130k views less than 400 people like the video so there's still some hope for humanity we're not all doomed that's a good thing but I just know that if his name started with like Jack or Neon, you would see 20k, 3k likes. Trust me. Same action, different name is the X Factor. I'll find you in Brussels, you're in trouble, dude. I know what area you're from, watch out. I don't even need a reward. Tell me you're looking for that guy. I will go to your door and give you his address. It must be so easy to do this kind of thing when you come from another country and have no respect for the place you are living and for the people that was there before you came. That's actually a really good point because when you're a foreigner, you just know that some natives will be waiting for you to do the most trivial mistake to stigmatize your community and ostracize you. And this dumbass by doing that BS, you know, that's what we call a double agent. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, those people, they don't think about the consequences. They only think about the profit they can make from it. They don't see all the negativity that can come from those kind of actions. But I guess that's all for this video, guys. If he goes to jail, shit. I don't wanna be the one spreading hate, but he might be spreading the deadliest brew we've ever seen. So it's a 50-50. If you go to jail, my guy, try to avoid the toilet. Just uh, not a friendly advice, but your life.